Welcome back to Laugh Tub. I'm Tim Miller. Let me take off my sandals. We have a very special guest tonight. She's leaving, going all the way to Austin, Texas. And she actually requested to be on this show. I think she's our only fan. She actually likes the show. I don't know why, really. But we have Eliza O on the show, so. You really bubble up there, aren't you? Yeah, I didn't realize I had this much bubble bath in there. No, it always sneaks up on you. It's weird. It does. So, how you been? Uh, is, that a, is that an interview question? Should I hit you with a balloon? Sure. Okay, how have I been? Yeah. Uh, well, oh, uh, uh, I don't think it exploded. Did it, it did not. You bet. You ready? Yeah. <laughs> the water balloons yeah. might not explode. <laughs> I think, I feel like. Did you get like the heavy duty water balloons or what did you get? I think that I just did not know enough about water balloons and I thought it would stretch further. Yeah. So, you know what? Okay. Okay. That was it. Uh, I've been great. Thank you for asking. Does anybody have a hairpin? <laughs> <laughs> Something. We're in a garage. Um, I have been fantastic. Thank you for asking. I've been gearing up with my van and everything. Uh, there is nothing pointy in my pockets, so we're safe. Um, yeah. I know, yeah, I know. We did a lot of, we ran out of small talk on, because we, you were here like an hour early, so we did a lot of that. But, yeah, that's on me. But I mean, yeah, you're moving to Austin, Texas this week. I am, I am uh, within a week. I've been saying that for about a month now. But yeah. I'm pretty sure we're in the final week. You're not going to pull up Zach Jarvis and move and then come back. Who? Move it. Oh, they're comedian we know. I don't think he's been on the show. I don't know. I might have him on the show. You should have Zach Jarvis on this show. No, I'm not going to pull a Zach Jarvis. Oh, you're, you're actually going to stay on? Oh, yeah. No, I, I'm sick of Missoula. It's a silly town here. You've been here five years? Yes, I've been here five years. Uh, this one's definitely not going to pop. It's a little guy. Yeah. Did um, you come to for school? Is that why you were in Missoula? No, I followed a... Um, I followed my high school crush. We're now best friends. Do I know this person? No. Oh. Maybe. He came with me to the union. Yeah, we sat at the union oh, with that, you. Oh, the guy yeah. that I met. Yeah, the little skinny couple. guy. Oh, yeah. Ken. Ken. Thanks, Ken. My first supporter. My parents didn't love me. Yeah. Mm. But you're, move, you're moving to Austin with a different guy, right? Josh. Yeah, your boyfriend Josh. My boyfriend Josh. And our dog, Nala. Yeah. I'm just going to have just... Unpop water balloons in my tub, by the way. You're time. in a big old tub of balls right now. I'm working <laughs> on them. Yeah. I got orange ones and pink ones. Well, we're going to get a shot where I go into your kitchen and find a knife and just, like, pop them all over your head and dump the water on you. Okay, well, I mean, I'm down. You're having a roast of... Well, you're not putting it on, but Sarah as well. No, but much like how I badgered... <laughs> Much like how I badgered Sarah Aswell, much like how I badgered Tim Miller to get me on this show, I badgered Sarah Aswell to let me have a roast at my favorite stage in Missoula, the Badlander. It'll have passed by the time this comes out, but just know that sometime in the past I was very excited. Yeah. See, I actually thought about if I would, if we didn't end up, we're doing this tonight before your roast. Yes. If I didn't end up doing this interview, I would have like tried to try to crash your roast and do try to do the interview well during the roast. Thank you so much. Beautiful, beautiful craftsmanship. Um, yeah, I would have oh, this is loved. Here, I feel like you gotta pop another one. For you to have crashed last tub with for you to have crashed the roast with last tub. Do you want do you wanna splash me? I mean I'm you. gonna splash you at the end. Not if I don't give you the knife. Well that's true. Did you just like let a little bit out? Look. I feel like this is the most ridiculous time I've been splashed with water on this show. Statistically, so. there's 30% of your audience that is going to love this for weird reasons. Yeah. And this is for you, that 30%. No judgment. Yeah, no judgment. This video will probably be 10 minutes long, so if. 
You can get off in that time. It's up to you. You got any more balloons or questions for me? Are we going to get flagged? My question is, are we going to get flagged to porn on YouTube after this? Elsa Gate isn't, so I don't see why we would be. Elsa Gate. Oh, we'll get into that. We can get into it now. Elsa Gate is a YouTube channel that looks like it's for children, but really it is popular children's characters that get into crazy adult situations, such as being kidnapped and forced to be strippers or eating each other's poop, which I do as an adult, but children should not be into that shit. Tim, do you have any more questions? What made, what made you, what are you going to miss most about Missoula? Laugh tub. Okay. I look forward to it every week. Really. Don't keep a weekly schedule. Yeah, every time it comes out. Practice so knife, sa knife safety. That's yeah. something that Elsa Gate does not. Don't does run not. with knives or scissors or. Just don't run, really. I, I mean, like. I think that you should do more intro standing up with it, with your cutoffs and, and your just I mean, body. Can do part of this interview like this. Would See, you date Tim Miller? What? Would you date Tim Miller? Would you? Will you please? See, I wore I wore actual boxer underneath because I think last time they probably saw my balls. I believe. That's why I watch last time. Just to get that that chance of seeing my balls, that like slim chance. Do your neighbors hate last time? I don't know if they know what we're doing. This is my sister's garage. Oh my god. Yeah. Well, I'm hoping you guys can still hear us. Yeah, is the sound still okay? Oh, I'm getting back in the tub. It is kind of cold in here. I filled it up. <laughs> yeah, if you're covered in water. Well, <laughs> it's pretty warm for us normies. Well, yeah. Got any more questions for me, Tim Millie? You've been here five years. God, yes I have. Is that how... Well, no, you haven't been doing comedy that long, have you? No, I've been doing comedy. If you count my hiatus, I've basically been doing comedy about two and a half years. Good, yeah, I think you started, I think you were one of the first, like, comedians I kind of befriended, I feel like. Yep, we started around the same time. Yeah. Probably started with Charlie at the same time, too. You did in Missoula, but did you do it, like, in New York? No, I was a slam poet in New York. Oh. Huh. Yeah, so I'm used to being on stage, but I'm used to, like, reading, you know, my own poetry. Yeah. Uh, well, I was rather. Now I'm used to just memorizing set lists. Yeah. Well, I mean, you have that one Stephen King song that you did a while ago. That's yeah, I'm really like catchy. That. Yeah. Well, it's based on an already very catchy song. Well, yeah. It's based on uh. King. Yeah. By Elton John. Yeah. And then I wrote about Stephen King. I also have a podcast, Tommy Knockin. It's okay, I was going to ask you about projects. Stephen King Appreciation Podcast. But what's going to happen to this after you leave? Are you and Charlie still going to do it? Because her co-host is Charlie McCorn, who's been on the show. And we'll be on it again. Yeah, at um, some point. Yes, Charlie and I are going to move to Skype to figure it out. So i got to buy me a laptop. See, I've been meaning to listen to it. I've listened to the first episode. Well, I mean, I've watched every episode of Laptop, so it's kind of bullshit that you haven't listened to it yet, but you I, can. I, I heard the first episode. That's great. Where we introduce ourselves, so it's shit you already knew. Yeah? Yeah, well, you should listen to the first chapter so you can get hooked already. Um, well, see, my plan is, like, every October I like to read a Stephen King book. Hmm. So I'm going to make it Tommy knocking this year. Tom, You're gonna Tommy, Tommy Knockers. Knockers? Hey guys, you have it on camera that Tim Miller is gonna read the Tommy Knockers all in one month. Oh my god. How, how long? I don't know. How long is the book? 800 pages of nonsense. I could probably do that in a month. It's gonna if be If I really, great. I'd have to cut out all TV and just read. You gotta drink a lot more beer, I can tell you that Well, much. yeah. This delicious beer that we're drinking. Tonight. Are you ready for your last question? Are you hit me with a water balloon? Are we already closing up this interview? Oh, I'm sorry. I... <gasps> There's one more! There's one more! I'm sorry. I found the... <sighs> Thanks, Tim. Yeah. Hmm. hmm. Any, any questions for me? Um, are you trying to date? Not really. Okay. That makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. I'm thinking about it, but... 
whatever happens, happens, bro. Yeah. Well, here. Want this yet? I do. Alright, be careful and not stab me or cut your thumb. Oh, the water's so cold. I... <laughs> Thank you. You, yeah. didn't, you didn't whip it too bad. No. Like how I just like got your legs. I meant to. Well, I get out. That's okay. You could have like sacrificed it over my head. I could have. That's what I was going for. That's what I should have done. You want us both to stand in the tub? I mean, yeah. I feel like that we should just hug and just stand in the tub. Hug me from behind. You're gonna be wet and cold. Let me finish my beer. I wanna finish mine too. Hold on. We, we can be like ghosting in a tub. See, I have to. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's. Oh, it's really cold talk. What did you do this for? Uh, well, comedy. Cold level bats to the least. Yeah. It's like what you would have in hell. I mean, usually I fill it up from the inside, but I have an actual hose today. I feel like my skin's melting with these bubbles coming down. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, this has been Laptub with Eliza O. Yeah, thanks for letting me write a theme song on the spot. Yeah, you're welcome. Laptub! Anything else you want to add before we sign off? I am so happy to have been here. And I'm happy to have you. Good. I'll miss you. <laughs> this is Laptub. I'm Tim Miller. I'm Eliza O. Have a good night.